In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, in the union of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, tonight we begin the Paschal Triduum, the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. On this most solemn hour, Jesus left us a memorial of two symbolic gestures of his love for us, the giving of his own body and blood in the form of bread and wine, and his act of washing the feet of his disciples. These two reminds us that the supreme act of love is manifested through to total giving of oneself for the beloved just as what Jesus did when he freely offered his life on the cross for our sake and to challenge us to strip away our clothes of self-entitlement, honors, and pride and to serve one another out of love for each other and out of love for God. And so let us acknowledge our sins as to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Thank you. 
Let us pray. O God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month, and then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it. With your loins grilled sandals on your feet and your staff in hand, you shall eat like those who are in the flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Our blessing cup is a How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of His faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all His people. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Altogether, I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with a the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We will be having the washing of the feet. Si Jesús na buong 
Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Kanina bago magsimula ang misa, sabi, Father, ang init. Ang sagot ko, huwag kang mag-alala sa impyerno, mas mainit. Kaya kung ayaw mo nang mainit, ayusin mo ang buhay mo. Ano po? Pinauna ko po yung paghuhugas ng paa bago ang pagninilay na kung saan ta taon-taon naman natin ginagawa. Ano pang huhugasan mo sa isang paa ang nagpa-pedicure? Ano pang huhugasan mo sa isang paa na pag pinunasan mo, merong pang sabi nga ay lotion. Ha? Mas malinis pa pagkamisan sa kamay ko yung mga paa nila. We always 
remind ourselves that the washing of the feet is about humility, about servanthood. That God humbled himself, stripped himself, as the gospel said, he stripped himself of his garment and washed the feet of his disciples. Humility and servanthood. But I would like to focus more on the people whose feet were washed. Palaging pinag-uusapan si Jesus na naghugas, pero hindi natin pinag-uusapan yung mga hinugasan, no? Hinugasan. Bakit ayaw nating magpahugas ng paa? Bakit? Kailangan nakahanda yung uhugasan. Sinabi ko minsan yan, sa parokya, mamili tayo on the spot. Ay nako, hindi kami nakalabing dalawa. Ha? Talagang ayaw ng iba. Ano po? Sabi ko, ano po bang problema ng paa ninyo? Basta Father Wag. Hindi ba? Basta Father Wag. But I want you to understand this. I want you to understand this. I do not know if you knew this, that our body has 206 bones. 206 bones. And our feet has 52 bones. 26 in each foot. One-fourth of the whole bones of our body is in our feet. Pag mahina ang buto mo sa iyong paa, hindi ka makakalakad. Ano sabi ng mga manunulat? Sayang ang ganda ng puso kung hindi kayang lumakad. Ibig sabihin, sayang ang ganda ng kalooban kung hindi mo naman kayang gawin. Mahalaga. Mahalaga na makita mong iyong paa. Ay yan ay paa na nagtatrabaho. Paa na kumikilos. Kaya nga madumi yan, hindi po ba? Ikalawa, ikalawa, pag hinugasan ang iyong paa, kailangan tanggalin ang sapatos o sandalias. Ang simbolo ng sapatos o sandalias ay simbolo ng ano? Dignidad at otoridad. It's about dignity and authority. If you remember the prodigal son, when he returned, the first thing that was given to him was his sandals. Because a servant has no sandals. They have no dignity and they have no authority. To have something in your feet means you have an authority. But if you want your feet to be washed, you must be willing to let go of your authority and of your dignity. Hindi lang servanthood yan. It's about letting go of your own entitlement. Letting go of your own entitlement. How lovely is the mountain whose feet brings good tidings. Ibig sabihin, ang bawat paa ay inaatasan. Ang bawat isa ay inaatasan na ipahayag ang mabuting balita. Inaatasan na ipahayag ang mabuting balita. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, alam po ninyo, mas madaling maghugas ng, kama, ng paa kaysa magdala ng mabuting balita. Napakadaling hugasan ng paa ng walang pakialam. Napakadali niyan. Sa morgue nga, hindi lang hinuhugasan, ipinapaliguan pa eh, di ba? No? Patay na nga lang. 
patay na nga lang. Again, if you have a feet, you are reminded of what? To preach the gospel. To bring good news. To serve the poor. In so doing, you worship God. Ang isang kristyano walang ginagawa. Walang saysay. Walang saysay. Kaya nga, ang tanong ay, pinakain mo ba ang nagugutom? Pinainom mo ba ang nauuhaw? Do you welcome strangers? Do you visit the sick? Do you visit those who are in prison? Do you clothe the naked? At dinagdag ng simbahan, do you bury the dead? At minsan tinanong ko yan, tinanong ko yan, at gusto ko kayong tanungin, sino sa inyo ang nakabisita na sa mga kulungan? Who among you have already visited those who are in prison? Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito, walo, siyam, sampu. Yung iba, wala pa, no? Bakit? Natatakot kayo, no? Natatakot kayo. Anong kinakatakot nyo? Dahil masasama silang tao? Ganun ba yun? Lahat ba na nakakulong talagang may kasalanan? Magandang itanong yun. Di ba na ikwento ko yan sa inyo na minsan dahil gusto ko magsulisit, pinahirap ko yung parokyang aking kinalalagyan. Ano sabi ng mga nakikinig? Ay, ang hirap ng parokya mo, Father. Madaming magnanakaw dyan, no? Pag mahirap ba magnanakaw? Hindi naman. Kaya ano sabi ko? Hindi naman ho porke mahirap magnanakaw. Yung iba nga po nakabarong eh, magnanakaw eh. ba? Diba? Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. To visit those who are in prison is never about the prisoner. It is about you who is so judgmental about people. When we clothe the naked, it is never about them. Because if you are naked, you always welcome what is given to you. Ang may problema, yung magbibigay. Dahil yung kadalasan yung mga nagbibigay, ang binibigay, yung hindi na talaga nila kailangan. Di po ba? Nung pumutok ang pinatubo, isa ako sa unang nagdala ng mga damit sa pinatubo o sa pambanga. Anim na kahon ng damit. Na hindi ko naman chine kung anong laman at anong klaseng damit. At ang una na binilalhan ay ang mga ayta sa bundok. Alam niya naman ay tsura ng ayta. Hindi po ba? Ano? At lamig na lamig sila. Kaya nung ibinaba yung mga kahon, unahan sila. Pero, nung buksan niya mga kahon, hindi ko naman alam na ang laman pala ay gown, barong, Amerikana. Hiyang-hiya ako. Alam mong ang pinamigay ay yung hindi na nila kailangan. Hiyang-hiya ako kasi suot-suot na mga ayta yung mga gown. Suot-suot na mga ayta yung barong, yung Amerikana. Sa biglang tingin, ay parang wala kami sa pinatubo. Para kami may prosesyon. Sorry for the words. Hindi bagay sa kanila yung gown. 
Pero, tumatanggi ba sila? Hindi. Bakit? Sila ang nangangailangan. To clothe the naked is not about those who will receive, but those who will give. Yung mga may kasambahay, bakit ba kailangan ipakain sa kasambahay yung mga ayaw nyo ng kainin na natira kahapon? Di ba? Sa Rockwell, noon, yung aming kasamang pari sa seminaryo, gutom na gutom, namili siya. Pumasok siya sa isang restaurant. Katabi niya yung mga mayayamang kumakain. Hindi siya inaatupag ng waiter. At sabi niya, ba't hindi niyo ako inaatupag? Sabi ng waiter, ah, kala ko namin kasi kayong katulong nito mga ito. Ganun ba yun? Pero siguro nakakita na kayo ng pamilyang kumakain sa magandang restaurant ang mga katulong hindi kumakain. Bakit? Hindi ba nagugutom ang katulong? Di po ba, no? It is never about them. It is about you. That's why at the end, we will be judged by where our feet has brought us. Wala yan sa ganda ng paa. Ang tanong dyan ay, saan mo, saan ka dinala ng iyong paa? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, again, madali lang maghugas ng paa. Ang tinatanong ay, yung hinuhugasan. Kaya mo bang i-strip ang iyong sarili? Saan? Sa iyong kapangyarihan? Sa iyong titulo? sapagkat wala namang panghinuhugasan na nakasuot ang sapatos o sandalias. Wala. The willingness to be stripped, the willingness to be humble, the willingness to walk forth, forth. We wash the feet. Alam po ninyo, yung mga moske, yung mga moske, walang nagpapasok ng chinelas. Walang nagpapasok na sapatos. Lahat sila nasa loob na kayapak. Di po ba, ano? Pero ang kamangha-mangha, lumalabas sila na hindi nawawala ang kanilang sapatos. Bakit ko ito sinishare? Minsan, Pumasok ako sa isang adoration chapel. Hindi ko nasasabing ko sa ang parokya. Paglabas ko, wala ang sapatos ko. Sana man lang nag-iwan ng chinelas, no? Wala. Sabi ng mga tao, Father, ba't ka nakayapak? Sabi ko, kanina meron ako sapatos. Ngayon, wala na. Kaya, naglagay na, lalagyan na sapato sa loob. O kaya plastic para kanya-kanyang dala. Pati ba naman yan? Di ba, ano? Sa Pilipinas lang naman talaga, pag nangungumun yun, bit-bit ang bag. Bakit? Takot ka na iwan ang bag mo. Di po ba? Nasa loob ng simbahan, may nakawan. Ano pong ibig ko sabihin? You purify your feet as a way of purifying your soul. What is ritual without a clean heart? Again, my brothers and sisters, what is ritual without a clean heart? Mahilig tayo sa palabas, kaya ang loob, hindi natin nasusuri. At ang panghuli ay, 
wala naman sa script yung hinahalikan ng paa. Wala. Hinalikan ba ni Jesus? Wala. Bakit hinahalikan ng pari yung paa? Maganda ba yung paa na hindi ko mapigilan na kayo sariling halikan yan? Di ba? Hindi. Kung natatanda ninyo ang isang makasalanan, ay walang tigil na humalik sa paa ni Jesus dahil siya'y pinatawad. I kiss the feet of those who allowed themselves to be washed, begging the Lord that He forgive my sins in the sins of the people I serve. I kiss the feet of those who allowed themselves to be washed because I beg the Lord to forgive my sins in the sins of the people I serve. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, yun ang mahirap pag nagpare ka. Hinahalikan mo istola, altar linen, gospel book, and once a year, pa. Kaya mahirap magpare. Di ba ano? Ano sabi ng matatanda? Kaya nga, pag ako'y namatay at binigyan ng pagkakataong muling mabuhay, gusto ko bulak lang. Bakit naman? Para ako nagde-decorate sa altar. Sabi nung isang, ay, ayaw ko ng bulaklak. Ako ang flower base. Bakit? May mga araw na walang bulaklak ang altar. Damo lang. Di po ba, ano? O nga naman. Kung bulaklak ka, may mga araw na wala ka sa altar. Pero sabi niya, mas gusto kong ako maging kandila. Bakit? Gusto mong iniilawan si Jesus, no? Oo. At sabi ng isang matanda, ako, kahit anong mangyari, kung ipapahintulot ng Diyos, ako ang altar linen. Sabi, wow, galing mo naman. Gusto mo sinasalo si Jesus habang nagmimisa? Sabi niya, hindi. Anong gusto mo? Gusto ko, araw-araw akong hinahalikan ni Father. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Hindi rin lahat ng naglilingkod, tama ang dahilan. Hindi rin lahat ng naglilingkod, tama ang dahilan. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, sometimes it is easier to serve than to be served. That's why our difficulty, most of the time, we keep on going to the confessional asking for forgiveness of the same sin that we have confessed before. Why? Because we find it difficult to forgive ourselves. Allow your feet to be washed. Humble yourself. Allow yourself to be stripped of your entitlement, of your dignity and authority. Purify yourself as you pur purify your soul. You were given feet so that what is in your heart, you put it in action. We kiss the feet because we have to constantly beg for God's forgiveness. Sana sa panahon ng Simana Santa, matuto tayo magpatawad dahil lahat tayo ay nangangailangan ng tawad. Amen. Let us all rise and bring to God our prayers and petitions. My dear brothers and sisters, together with Christ, who gathers us to worship at the table of His Word and Sacrament, let us lift up to God our Father, our petitions, and every petition at our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole church, that our celebration of the sacred Paschal Triduum may lead us to a deeper relationship and a closer following of Christ who offers himself for our sake. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the bishops, priests, and deacons, and all who lead and serve the Christian community, that they may follow Christ's example of humble service and selfless offering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For those who govern all people, that they may work for the common good and serve the needs of all, and especially those who have less in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For those who are in need, that through the love of God and those who believe in God, the hungry may be fed, the sick may be healed, the grieving may be consoled, the oppressed may be set free, and the dying may be at peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For a Christian community, that the Eucharist may truly be the source and summit of all our good works and Christian living, and may it be a source of unity and a constant reminder of Christ's command to love one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us also bring to God our own personal prayers and petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, your Son gathers us at the table in remembrance of his death and resurrection to partake of his body and blood. By the merits of your Son's sacrifice, hear the prayer of your people and grant us what we ask of you in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Oil for the sick. Blessed be God who heals the sick and comforts the afflicted. May the sick who are anointed with this oil experience the compassion of Christ and his saving love in mind, body, and soul. Blessed be God forever. Oil of Chrism. Blessed be God who anoints his chosen ones by the anointing of this perfume, Chrism. The Holy Spirit anoints and fills with grace. Those who are baptized, confirm and ordain, and make them Christ, the anointed one. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we are to the 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial as we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us. We are made strong and as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing them of your glory as without end. We acclaim. For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing and put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to your consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this mystery. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. 
and give you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to the second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death, you will to reconcile us to yourself, that grant that we who are nourished, by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May He make of us an eternal offering to you, so that you may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Yeah. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. For those outside the chapel, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will be at the bridges to distribute Holy Communion. Kindly form two lines before them. And please consume the host immediately after receiving them in front of the minister. Oh, no. 
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrochina. Please all kneel. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have your presence so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late, and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. 
it is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way. And for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth. And continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet of all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Some announcements. The confession will, be, will resume at 7 o'clock until 12 o'clock midnight. 7 to 12 midnight. Second, there will be no final blessing. There will be no final blessing. The sacrament will be moved to the altar of repose. The altar will be stripped. We will go in silence. We will go in silence. Doon sa nagtatanong, Father, kailan ba ang bisita iglesia? Huwebes ba o biyernes? Sa huwebes, binibisita mo, hinahan mo ang Diyos dahil wala siya sa tabernakulo. Kung biyernes, binibisita mo ang Diyos kasi nakalamay, naka, nakahiga, patay. Ano po? Sabi kanina, ba't ang daming lasing ngayon? Bakit daw ang daming lasing? Sabi daw ng mga lasing, nagluluksa kami patay si Jesus. Tigilan nyo nga yan. Ano po? Nagluluksa. Pakius- pakiusap ko lang ano po. Igalang nyo naman yung altar of repose saan man kayo magpunta, pakigalang ninyo. Tigilan niyo kasi selfie sa altar of repose. Ano pa? Isipin mo, naghihingalo ang Diyos, selfie tayo sa Walang galang, no? Naintindihan mo sana. Ha? Naintindihan mo sana. Going back to what I've said, sino lang ang taong pwedeng hugasan ng paa? Ang sagot ay, yung merong paa. Pag walang paa, walang uhugasan. Ano ba ba, no? Simple lang yun. The washing of the feet reminds us that we have feet. We have feet. So that what is in our hearts, you put it into action. This year is a year of prayer. Hopefully, hopefully, my dear brothers and sisters, we put our prayers into action. Again, hopefully this year, a year of prayer, we put our prayer into actions. Look at your feet. You were given a feet because you were given a task. Let us all kneel.
Me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late in the days coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray with a firm conviction that through your Son's death in time to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The recollection will immediately follow. Magpapalit lang ho ako ng damit. Ano po? At iinom ng kamot. Baka matumba. Ano po? Uh, so, para matapos agad. No? Uh, may upuan po dito sa harap. Ano po? Yung mga senior. Ano po? Magpakita lang ng ID. Hindi, <laughs> biro lang. Ano po? Available. Going back to what I've said, the first reading reminds us of our obligation to share the gospel. Don't just participate in the liturgy. Share the gospel. We are all beggars telling another beggar where to find bread. Second, you can only share if you understood the message. Ano po ang sabi? ng santa. Sabi niya, to whom much is forgiven, love much. To whom much is forgiven, love much. Kung naintindihan mong higit kang tinatawad ng Diyos, dapat meron kang higit na pagmamahal. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Thank you, sisters and brothers, for coming to celebrate the Mass with us. I ask the choir to sing one more song to dispose us.
Let us begin an evening in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Together, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Mary, seat of wisdom, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Iyong po nakaupo dyan, sana makakatayo pa kayo ha. Iyong mga, iyong mga madre po, pangatlong gabi na yan dito, ano po? hindi pa nauubos ang tinitinda nila. Bilhin nyo na. Ano po? Bilhin nyo na ha? Bilhin nyo na. Nakita ko po yung kapatid ko. Kapatid ko po yun. Ano po? Uh, bakit ko tinuro? Sabi niya, minsan daw ang dami nagmamano sa kanya. Ano po? Ha? Sabi ko, pamanuhin mo na lang. Kaya mo na. Ano po? Kapatid ko po yun. Ah, kapatid ko. Alam po ninyo, yung una at kalawang gabi, konti lang kami. Saan kayo galing? Ha? Ay dahil konti lang kami, may nag-donate ng 150 na pansit. Ano po? 150. Sabi ko, bumili tayo ng another 150 para 300 ang pansit. Ano po? Kinakabahan ako ngayon. Kasi feeling ko sobra kayo sa 300. Ano po? Ako ano na lang abutin mamaya. Ano po? ano na lang abutin. Ha? Nagpapasalamat tayo sa nag-donate ng pansit. Monsignor Jerry Santos is started or perhaps shared in the community the, the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer. And St. Ignatius of Loyola said, you can never be wrong in praying the Lord's Prayer. Because God taught it. You can never be wrong. If there is a prayer you should remember, it should be the Lord's Prayer. It should be the Lord's Prayer. Ano naman ang sinabi ni Father Dennis? Ano po? Sabi naman ni Father Dennis, in prayer, he shared, he shared, experiences in prayer and one of them is you can wrestle with God in your prayer. You can wrestle. Go beyond. Go out of the box. Uh, because we have our concept of prayer. At sabi niya, even wrestling with God is prayer. Uh, tatlong words sa mahalaga sa kanya. Pray, persevere, and promise. Ano po? You, rem- you, you, you do not forget to pray. And whatever happened, you persevere. You persevere because you understood the promise. Alam mong sa huli, ipagkakalob din ang Diyos. Ha? Ano, ko, ano yung sabi nung isa? Ha? Huh? Ba't sinabi ni Father Dennis yun? Kasi sabi ni mo, Senior Jerry, pwede magdasal habang natutulog. Diba? Diba, no? You, kasi, a lot of things happen in, in sleeping down. Nasa likod ako. Ako, ako. Monsi, gusto ko sabihin, takot ang mga tao dito matulog kasi alam ko, kukuni ni Lord ang mga natutulog. Ano po? Regardless, and tonight, I would like you to understand prayer more than the way perhaps you are told about it. Go beyond, go beyond your concept, ano po, your understanding. Of course, when I say understanding, 
four types of prayer. Ano sabi? Ha? Adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, supplication. Acts. Di ba ba? No? Acts. Alam na alam yan ng mga nagpe-prayer meeting. Adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, supplication. And levels of prayer is meditative, affective, contemplative. Meditative, utak, you meditate on the word, on the scriptures. Affective, you feel it, you feel it. Contemplative is prayer in action. Your prayer must move you to action. Prayer without action is nothing. Ano po sabi ng mga santo? Sabi po ni Pope Paul VI, prayer should be the norm of our life. Prayer should be the norm of our life. Ha? Being a Christian, being a Catholic, we must be a people who pray. Some of us are answered prayers for our parents. Ano ibig sabihin? Nandiyan ka, ano ka man ngayon, ay dahil maaring ikaw ang produkto ng panalangin ng iyong magulang. Naabot mo ang iyong pangarap dahil yun ang panalangin ng iyong magulang. Buhay ka ngayon na hindi ka nagtatanong na ikaw ay nung ikaw maliit baka naghihingalo ka, pinagaling ka dahil yun ang panalangin ng magulang mo. Hindi po ba, ano? You can be the answer to the prayer of your parents. You will only know it if you ask for it. Ano ba pinagdadasal ng mga magulang mo nung ikaw ay lumalaki? Di ba? Kasi yung mga bata, pag maliit, cute eh, cute. No, cute. Lahat cute. Nang lumalaki na, ano sabi ng magulang? Kung alam ko lang na magkakaganyang ka, sana'y tinabunan ko ng una ng mukha mo. Di ba? No? Pero sa simula, punong-puno ng panalangin ang mga magulang. May mga magulang na ano sabi, sana ako na lang ang may sakit, Lord. Di ba? No? Kasi, punong-puno ng pagmamahal. Sa, sa nanay ko lang nadinig yun eh. Ang alin, yung father, kung pwede ko lang sipsipin ang uhog ng aking anak, sisipsipin ko. But, but, meron talagang gumawa nun. Meron talagang gumawa. Baradong ilong ng anak hindi makahinga, sinipsip ng nanay ang sipon. ba? Diba? nanay lang ang makagagawa no? hindi ko alam yung tatay no? hindi ko alam Pope Paul VI said to live is necessary to pray in prayer is to be in the presence of the Lord to pray is to be in the present it means you put yourselves before God You have to understand if Jesus prayed, why we should not pray? If Jesus prayed for His disciples, why we should not pray for one another? A life without prayer is a body without a heart. A life without prayer is like a body without a heart. You need to pray. Ano example ko dyan? When a young boy, when a young boy asks an abbot to teach him to be holy, in the abbot said, Come, join me. Join me. An abbot is stayed in the mountain alone in a monastic way and the boy joined him. Every day, the boy watched the abbot. Wake up in the morning, clean the cave, cook for the meal, pray. Then, clean, pray. Eat, clean, pray. After one month, sabi ng bata, abbot, you forget 
to teach me how to pray. And the abbot said, I'm teaching you how to pray. Sabi niya, you are not. You are not. And the abbot said, do what I do. Sabi ng bata, what do you do? Diba? Eat, clean, pray. What do you teach me to be holy? Sabi niya, just do what I do. Hindi, sabi ng bata, okay. After three months, nagsawa na ang bata. Sabi niya, I'm here, I'm here for too long. You have not told me how to pray. You have not taught me how to pray. Sabi, I've been teaching you. Abot, please, I want to be holy. The abot understood that the boy wants a formula of prayer. Formula. So sabi niya, okay, if you want to be holy, come with me to the river. Ay sabi ng bata, naku, bibinyagan na ako. Bibinyagan na ako. So, punta sila sa river. Tapos, bago lumusong sa tubig, tinanong pa rin siya ng abot, do you really want to be holy? Ang sabi ng bata, yes, abot, so excited. Lusong sila. Nung nasa dibdib na yung tubig, Tinanong uli siya ng abot, Do you really want to be holy? Yes, abot. Tapos sabi niya, pinatong yung kamay sa ulo ng bata, Take a deep breath. Oh, excited ang bata. <gasps> Nilubog. Kaya lang, hindi binitawan. So, lumabas lahat ng hangin doon sa bata, nagkakawag. Ano po? Nung napansin ng abot, parang malapit ng mamatay, binitawan. O di, paglabas ng ganyan, hingang malalim. <gasps> Tapos, inilubog uli na mas matagal. Ah, nagalit yung bata. Talagang, paglabas ng ganyan, ano po, kulang lang magmura. Sabi niya, I want to be holy, I don't want to die. Ano lang sabi niya, Abot? If you want to be holy, you must hunger for God as much as you hunger for air. Listen, you want to be holy? Don't just pray the rosary. Don't just go to Mass. Don't just give. Don't just feed the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty. You must hunger for God as much as you hunger for air. Pag hindi ka na humihinga, patay ka na. Nakapunin niya. Subukan niyo. Subukan niyo. Practice. Huwag ka huminga. Ano pa? ba? Diba? Sinabi ko nga yan sa inyo nung na-stroke ako. ba? Diba? Dinig ko lahat. Alam niyo, pag nawala pala yung ibang senses, lumilinaw yung iba. Ano? Hindi ka makakita. Duling ka. Ang meron ka na lang. Tenga at saka bibig. So, dinig mo lahat yung nangyayari sa emergency room. Dinig mo lahat. Pati yung usapan ng doktor, yung pasyente, dinig mo lahat. Kaya lang, pikit ka. Hindi mo kita. Ano po? Ano sabi ko? Pag naghihingalo ka, pare-parehas lang. Pare-parehas lang. Pag naghihingalo, yung, taga, yung, yung mga mahihirap, Tagalog na lang. Yung, yung mayayaman, English. Pero parehas lang naghihingalo. Ano pa yun? Uh, aray! Aray! Ganun. <laughs> yun yung mahirap. Ano pa? Yung mayaman, Ucho! 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 English lang. Ano pa? Parehas lang. Parehas lang ang hangin. Can you imagine? Libre yung hangin. Nako. Pero pag naghihingalo ka, magbabayad ka ng oxygen. Di ba, ano? Naisip niyo ba yun? Libre ang hangin. Pero pag na-hospital ka, bayad ka ng oxygen. Di ba? Naisip niyo ba yun? Ah, kaya huwag kayo makakasakit. Singhutin niyo lahat. Ano po? Singhutin niyo lahat. A life without prayer is like a body without a heart. And you want to be holy? Hunger for God as much as you hunger for air. Why? Why? 
we strive for holiness. Why do we strive for holiness? You cannot define completely what is holiness. Like love, like prayer, because it is always and will always depend on your experience. Naintindihan po ninyo? How do you define love? It is always based on your experience. Yung iba, magandang experience ng pag-ibig. Di po ba? Ano? Yung iba, sugatan. Ha? Kaya, pangit ang kwenta, ang kwento ng pag-ibig. Ganon din ang prayer. Pag-answered prayer, maganda ang kwento nila tungkol sa prayer. Di po ba? Ano? Pero pag hindi sila dininig ng Diyos, pangit ang kwento nila tungkol sa prayer. It will always depend on your experience. Same with holiness. Same with holiness. Because it, is, it will always depend on your experience. But you can concretely say, what is not love? If I cannot completely define what is love, I can always say, what is not love? Di po ba? If I cannot completely define what is prayer, I can always say, ah, that is not prayer. If I cannot completely define a holy person, I can always say, ay, hindi yan holy. Di po ba? Ang example ko dyan, if you want to come before God, and you ask the Lord, Lord, I want to be happy. I want to be happy. Mahirap i-define yung happiness. Di po ba? O, anong happy? Anong happy? Basta. Ayaw, kaya, hindi tayo, hindi tayo sinusunod ng Diyos kasi basta eh. Ano po? Pero pag sinabi mong, what is to be unhappy? Ay, alam natin lahat yun. Di ba na? Pag sinabi mo kasi, define abundance. Ay, hirap. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng mayaman? Define. Paki-explain ng mayaman. Ano ang mayaman? Maraming sapatos? Ano? Maraming bag? Ano ang mayaman? Malaking bahay? Ano ang mayaman? Depende sa karanasan. Di po ba? Ano? Depende. Hindi natin lubos ang may paliwanag kung anong mayaman. Pero pag tinanong ka, anong mahirap? Ay, alam na alam mo. Di ba? Alam na alam mo kung ano yung mahirap. The same with prayer. The same with love. The same with holiness. Why we have to strive for holiness when we talk about prayer? Because God said, Be holy. For I am holy. We are not taught to pray so that we can simply get what we want. The primary purpose of prayer is that we may be holy. We may be holy. Malungkot yung lahat ng prayer intentions mo na dinig, pero hindi ka naging banal. Di ba? Hello? Nadinig lahat, binigay lahat sa iyo ng Diyos ang iyong panalangin, pero hindi ka naging masaya. Binigay sa iyo ng Diyos lahat ng ikabubuti mo, pero hindi ka natutong magpasalamat. We are called to be holy. Teresa of Avila said, In striving for holiness, you should never limit God by your own limitations. You should never limit God by your own limitations. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Pagka minsan, kung hindi man madalas, pag tayo nagdadasal, ang tinitingnan natin yung ating sarili. Hindi ang Diyos. Hindi ang Diyos. Sabi, nung, sabi ko, imagine the unimaginable for God to do the impossible. Naintindihan po ninyo yun? Imagine the unimaginable for God to do the impossible. Why? Because if you cannot imagine it, you will never become it. 
Kung hindi mo maisip na ikaw ay gagaling, hindi ka talaga gagaling. Kung hindi mo naisip na ikaw ay makakaahon sa kahirapan, hindi ka talaga makakaahon. Sasabihin nyo, ah, oh, that's the power of the mind. No. No, that is not about the power of the mind. It is how the Lord revealed Himself to you. So that when God asked you, what do you want me to do for you? That's prayer. Prayer is the ability to tell God, what do you want God to do for you? Di ba? Huwag niyo sasabihin, alam naman ni Lord kung anong kailangan ko. Alam ni Lord na kailangan ng bulag na makakita. Pero tinanong pa rin ng Diyos, anong gusto mong gawin ko sa iyo? Di ba? Because you need to utter what you want. Kailangan mo sabihin. Alam naman ng Diyos na kumakain ako araw-araw. Pero kailangan mo sabihin, give us this day our daily bread. Di ba? Alam naman ng Diyos na kumakain ka. Pero kailangan mo sabihin, give us this day our daily bread. Why? Because it is all about relationships. It's all about relationship. Sabi, Father, tulungan mo naman ako, ipagdasal na ano, nabigyan ako ng tatay ko ng kotse. Tumingi ka sa tatay mo. Ba't kay Lord? Kaya pala ng tatay mo magbigay ng kotse, eh, di ba? Hingin mo sa Diyos yung hindi kayang ibigay ng tao. Di ba, anak? Mahirap yung hinihingi mo kaya namang ibigay ng ibang tao. Para saan pa ang Diyos? Di ba? Para saan pa Diyos? You don't limit God by your own limitations. The path to holiness is to let go of the world and surrender to God your will. Because when we pray, when we pray, you have to understand God has a way of answering our prayer. God has a way. 40 years ago, 40 years ago, you know, many of you have knew this, that I had, I was a victim of a hold-up case and I have a multiple stab wound. I almost died. Half of my body was paralyzed. And I need 26,000 to pay for the doctor and for the hospital. In 1981, 26,000 is a very big amount. Every day, every Lord, bigyan mo naman ako ng 26,000. How? I do not know. Kaya tumataya ako sa alay. Bakit? Kailangan mo tulungan ang sarili mo. Bumibili ako ng sweep steak. Pinagtatawanan ako kahit beto-beto, pinatulang ko eh. Ano po? Verde. Basol. O ba? Kahit pa paano. Hari nawa. Nakatayo ka doon sa harapan ng simbahan. Hari nawa. May matanda ditong mayamang-mayaman na walang magawa sa pera niya. Iabot sa akin. Di ba? I tried to solve my own problems. I asked, Lord, give me money. Give me 26,000. Maliwanag kung magkano hinihingi ko. 26. How did God answer the prayer? Hindi niya ako binigyan ng 26,000. Hindi libre niya ang aking hospital bill. Ano sabi ng doktor? Pag wala kang pera, hindi ko tatastasin ang mga tahi mo. Can you imagine? Hindi niya tatastasin yung mga tahi. Ay, ang katikati na. Kasi pag gumagaling ang sugat, ang katikati. Nakalimutan ko na ngayon 26,000 eh. Sa kati. Di ba? Ang sabi ko sa kapatid ko, ikaw na lang ang tumanggal. Ikaw na lang. Di ba? Sabi, ah, paano ka may infection ka? Ayun nga lang. Di ba ba? Na? We always want to answer our own prayer request in the way we understood it. Oh, Makati. Pumunta ka sa doktor. Wala kang pera. Oh, di ba? Nakita ka. Oh, kumusta ka? Dok, ang kati. 
O, titignan natin. O, tinignan. Wow, ang galing. Ang bilis gumaling. Tapos, maya-maya, o, nilagyan ng agwa ako sinada. O, hindi ako nagsasalita. Hindi ko sinasabing wala akong pera. Baka itigil eh. Di ba, no? Of course, yun, I know my own dilemma. I know. Pwede sabihin na, pwede sabihin niya nasa ng pera. Nako, tapos. Tapos ang boxing. Di ba, no? Oh, pero tuloy-tuloy siya. Ginupit, nilagyan ng band aid. Pagkatapos, sabi niya, swerte mo, totoy. Totoy eh. Swerte mo, totoy. Tinanggap ng DSWD ang kaso mo. Bayarin mo itong band aid. Oh? Singko ang band aid no. Singko. Can you imagine? 26,000 to 25 cents. Sabi ni Lord, dasal ka ng dasal ng 26,000. Hindi mo ako hayaan na, na kumilos. Di ba? No? Hanggang ngayon, sumasakit yung sugat ko. Bakit? May trauma eh. Para ano? Para hindi ko makalimutan ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Di ba? Pangit ang peklat, pero may mga peklat na maganda. Pangit ang peklat, pero may peklat na maganda. Tuwing tinitingnan ko yung peklat, nagpapaalala yan na magandang kwento ng Diyos sa buhay ko. Di ba? Kaya kung magkakapeklat ka, gandahan mo. Di ba? Para may kwento. Kasi pag walang kwento, walang kwento. Oh, galing ninyo. Ano po? Let go of the world. Allow the Lord to answer your prayers according to His will. Ano sabi ni St. John of the Cross? If you choose the path between what you know and what you do not know, sabi niya, choose what, do you, what you do not know. Because you will find God in what you do not know. Kasi kung alam ko lang, kung alam ko lang, kung paano sasagutin ng Diyos ang aking mga panalangin, ay di sana nakakakain ako ng maayos at nakakatulog ako ng maayos. Di ba ba? No? Ay, laman ang utak mo, 26,000. 26,000. Ganun talaga. Mahirap eh. Oh, can you imagine, after 40 years, hindi naman coincidental yan. After 40 years, I had a stroke. Not half body paralyzed, but completely paralyzed. Di ba? Alam ko lang kwento. Alam ko lang. Alam ko na ito. Ah, alam ko lang. Kaya lang hindi ka makagibo. Di ba ba? No? Wala ko operahan. Stroke eh. Di ba? Ano kaya ang kwento dito? Pero may kwento ito. At least alam ko na may kwento ang Diyos. Di ba? No? Oh. Kaya ay sabi ng mga pare, no ikaw ba nasa emergency room, feel mo ba na mamamatay ka na? Sabi ko, hindi naman. Bakit? Wala naman. Kaluluwa ng mga yumao nagpakita. Di ba? No? Kasi pag mamamatay ka na daw, susunduin ka na daw ng mga ninuno nyo, di ba, no? Huh? Huh? Ay, ayan na, lola mo. Wala naman. No? So, ano lang meron? Ang sabi ko lang sa Diyos, alam ko mahal mo ako. At alam mong mahal kita. Yun lang ang kwento. Kasi alam ko, may solusyon. Di ba? May solusyon. Oh, alam ko na magbabayad. Alam, alam nyo naman, pag na-ICU kayo, metro. Di po ba, ano? Metro. Buti na lang, may insurance kami. May insurance ako. Hindi libre. Metro. Di ba? Hindi ka nag-aalala pag may tinurok, magkano yan? Hindi, hindi mo tinatanong kasi alam mo, may insurance ka. Di po ba? Pero, pero, nung ikaw ay, nung ako ay nasa angioplasty na, angiogram, at sinabi ng Father, may bara. Ah, medyo kinabahan ako. Bakit? Sabi ko, ilan nung ang bara? Pito. Pito. Magkano isang, magkano isang stent? 320,000. Times 7? Ay talaga madaling kwentahin yun. Ha? Hindi ba baba sa 2.1 million yun? Di ba? Dati 26,000 lang ito. 2.1 Siyempre, nagle-level up, di ba, no? Alam na, 
mag- si Zewia, 26. Oh, ngayon, millions, millions. Oh. Hindi ba? Ano sabi ng doktor? Father, father, father. Tinatapik ko, father, father. Baka may stroke lalo ako, eh, kakakwenta. Father, may discount, may discount. Kahit may discount, million pa rin. Million pa rin. Pero, ano sinasabi ko? When you know that prayer is a relationship, rules don't work on how your prayers are answered. Keep that in mind. Rules don't work. There is no rule. Because God, God's ways are not our ways. Rules don't work. You only need to have your relationship. When we are called to be holy, you must be willing first to be called. Hello. If you want to be holy, you must be willing to be called. No one will become holy by itself. Keep that in mind. No one will become holy by itself. To be holy is a product of God's call. So if you want to be holy, you must be willing to be called. And how do God calls us? C.S. Lewis said, huh? Joys are the whispers of God. Pains are the shouts of God. Either we are called by God through our problems or God will call us through our blessings. Kaya pag nabli-bless ka, dapat sensitibo ka. Ano kaya ang hinihingi ng Diyos? Di ba? Pag ikaw may problema, ganun din. Ano kaya ang hinihingi ng Diyos? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, God calls us. Ano sabi? Bakit sa iyo lang nagsasalita ang Diyos? Sabi kay John, Ar- John of Art. Sabi, hindi, nagsasalita ang Diyos sa lahat. Hindi lang lahat nakikinig. Hindi lang lahat nakikinig. Ano po? To be called, you must listen. You pray because you want to be holy. To be holy is to be called. To be called, you must listen. Kaya nga, palagi yan. Palagi sa simula ng Holy Week, uh, ng, ng, ng Quares, may ano, the transfiguration. Ano palagi sinasabi doon? This is my beloved son. I have no other son. Listen to him. Di po ba? This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Because to listen is to be attentive. To listen is to be attentive. And to be attentive, you must be interested. Bakit hindi mo nadinig? Hindi ka interesado eh. Di po ba? Ba't ka natutulog sa misa? Hindi ka interesado. Hello? Di ba na? Ba't hindi mo nadinig ang sinabi ng nanay mo? Hindi ka interesado. Ba't hindi mo narinig ang sinabi ng asawa mo? Hindi ka interesado. Pero na nanliligaw ka, kahit wala siyang sinasabi, may naririnig ka. Bakit? Interesado ka eh. Di ba? Naalala nyo? Kaunting tingin lang. Alam mo na. Na kailangan niyang damputin ng bag. Di ba? Dito tayo. Opo. Alam nyo lahat. Bakit? Interesado tayo. Kaya tayo attentive. Di ba? Listen to Him. Be attentive. Balik tayo sa pagkakasala ng ating mga magulang of our first parents. Ano nangyari? Ano sabi ng Diyos? Huwag kayong kakain mula sa bunga ng puno ng karunungan. Di po ba, no? Pero, kumain sila. Di ba, no? Paano, Father, kung hindi kinain? Ay, 
Huwag na natin pag-usapan, kumain na eh. Di ba? Huh? Uh, kinain na eh. Pero ang aking tanong ay, bakit mo kinain? Na alam mo naman, alam mo naman, na pinagbabawal ang Diyos. Tama po ba? Hello? Naintindihan niyo po ba na bawal? Oh, bakit mo kinain? Kasi nakinig ka. Saan? Sa ahas. Naintindihan niyo ba yung sinasabi ko? Dahil nakinig ka sa ahas. Hindi niyo naintindihan. Hindi niyo naintindihan. Kasi kung naintindihan mo, ang una mong tanong dapat ay, bakit nagsasalita ang ahas? Tama po ba? Dapat yung tatanong, ha? Nagsasalita? Naku ka po ninyo? Pero dahil interesado ka sa sinasabi, kahit ahas, pinakinggan mo. Naintindihan po ninyo? Ganong kalalim yun. Kaya, pag ikaw ay may naririnig, tanungin mo, tama pa ito? Kasi ang problema natin, dahil gusto natin, interesado tayo, kahit ahas ang may sabi, pinakikinggan natin. At pag ayaw, kahit pogi, ayaw. Di ba? Kahit si Padre na magsabi, ayaw. Bakit? Hindi ka interesado eh. Di pa ba, no? Pero pag interesado ka, bakit ka ba nabubudol? Interesado ka sa kita eh. Di ba? Logic yan. Basic yan. Di ba? Masyado kang interesado na hindi mo, nakalimutan mo, ahas. Di po ba? Pogi ba yung ahas? Hindi. Interesado ka. We failed to listen because we failed to be interested. It must be our interest to have a loving relationship with God because without relationship, there is no prayer. Naintindihan niyo na. So pag sinabing, paano ba magdasal, Father? Do it according to your relationship. Di ba? Di iba nakaluhod, di iba nakatayo. Si St. Ignatius Loyola, siya nagdadasal, nakahiga. Nakahiga siya. Oh, mahirap naman yon sa green belt, nakahiga yung nagdada, nagsisimba. Kulang ang upuan, di po ba? No? Dapat nakalazy boy tayong lahat. Di ba? Hindi naman. Bakit? May kanya-kanyang pamamaraan ang pagtawag ng Diyos. Ha? Sanyang ganun. Sanyang ganun ang buhay. Prayer is not about doing, but about being. Becoming who wants, who God wants us to be. Again, many times I have said this, knowing how to pray is a skill. Hello. Knowing how to pray is a skill. If you know how to pray the rosary, it is a skill. Because not everyone knows how to pray the rosary. Di ba? Inaamin ko, nung kami lumalaki, ang alam ko lang habang naglilid ang lola namin, ora pro nobis, ora pro nobis, ora pro nobis. So, ibig sabihin nyo, pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Uh, amoy sunog kasi naing pray for us. <laughs> kasi hindi ka naman attentive eh. Basta sagot ka lang ng sagot. Di po ba? No? Knowing how to pray is a skill. But not all those who have the skill to pray has the wisdom about prayer. What do you mean by wisdom? Knowing how to pray is a skill. But knowing what to pray is wisdom. Marunong ka magrosaryo pero hindi mo alam kung anong iyong dapat hingin. Di ba? Hello. Parang tulala kayo. 
Knowing how to pray is a skill. Knowing what to pray is wisdom. But to pray is an act of excellence. Kasi hindi lahat ng marunong magdasal alam kung anong ipagdadasal. At ang problema, marunong silang magdasal, alam nilang ipagdadasal, hindi naman sila nagdadasal. Kaya pag tinanong mo, nagdasal ka ba? Hindi. O okay, ayun, okay, di ba? It's about relationship. Nung na-stroke ako, sabi nung yung kasama ko sa parokya, sabi niya sa nanay niya, Nay, na-stroke ko si father. Naiyak-iyak pa nanay niya. Dating mother butler ng parokya kung saan ako nag-serve. Sabi niya, let us pray together. Let us hold hands. Ha? Grabe. Ha? Tapos, nung hawak kamay na daw, sabi niya, let us pray. Bless us, O Lord. In this... Which... <laughs> Kaya gumaling ako. <laughs> hirap na hirap sila. Sabi lang, ang hirap pa. Ang hirap. Ayun ang naalala mo. Hindi pa ba? No? Yun ang naalala mo. But how many of us, before we eat, we pray? Oh, ano ka? Pinagtatawanan mong ang alam lang na prayer, bless us, O Lord. Ano ba? Ganun talaga. It's all about relationship. Knowing how to pray is a skill. Knowing what to pray is wisdom. But to pray is an act of excellence. Kasi marami alam nilang dapat magsimba alam nila kung saan magsisimba, pero hindi nagsisimba. Nakuha po ninyo? Hindi sapat na alam mo. Ba't hindi mo ginagawa? Hindi ka interesado. Hindi ka interesado. Ano sabi ni, Mother, ni Santa Teresa ng Abila? Prayer is not what you say For sometimes, silence is more powerful than words. It is not what you say. Because sometimes, you lack words. But because you have a relationship, you just being silent and you know you are praying. You know you are praying. Learn to be silent. Ang ingay na nasimbahan. Napansin niyo ba yun? Ang ingay na talaga. Bago magmisa, ang ingay talaga. Hindi, ma- hindi makatahimik. Alam mo? Kailangan may nagsasalita. Di ba? Learn to silent yourself. Because it's the only way to listen. Being aware that God is looking at you, loving at you, is a prayer by itself. You sit there, you look at the tabernacle, knowing that God loves you is a prayer by itself. Ano sabi ni Saint Teresa of Lisieux? Prayer is understanding that the Father is looking at you as you struggle to walk and pick you up when you cannot walk anymore. Can you imagine the image? The Father is looking at you as you struggle to walk and pick you up when you cannot walk anymore. Ano ibig sabihin ni Saint Teresa of Lisieux? To struggle is part of the prayer. To struggle is part of the prayer. Hindi palaging masarap ang prayer. Hindi palagi. It is taking time to be alone, together with God, being intimate with Him. Because by human nature, we need to love someone and we need to be loved by someone. It is by human nature. You need to love someone. Pag sinabi, ba't yan pinatulan niya? Pangit. 
ay kasi there is a need to love and be loved regardless regardless kaya halimbawa pag hindi nakakuha ng pag-ibig at pagmamahal ang anak sa bahay maghahanap yan ng ibang taong magmamahal at mamahalin it is by human nature kung ayaw dalawin ng mga anak ang magulang ang mga magulang bumibili ng aso kasi naghahanap talagang masasabi ko, oh, boyd, boyd mo, boyd, boyd mo, bless, bless, bless. Di ba? It is by human nature. Okay lang yung kausapin mo yung aso. Pinakausap ko ang aso ko. Oh. Ang hindi okay, yung aso nagsalita. Di ba ba? Hindi na maganda. It is by human nature that we long for love and be loved. Kaya wag niyo sasabihin, wag niyo sasabihin, oy, bakit 'yan? Ganda naman ng asawa, kumuha pa ng kabit. Sorry for the words. Kasi naghanap ng pagmamahal. Tako po niyo, hindi ko ginajustify ha. Pero because it is a human nature, then you will you will always look for ways to fulfill your needs. Kaya nga, mga magulang, huwag kayong titigil sa pagmamahal sa anak. Huwag kayong titigil sa pagmamahal sa inyong asawa. Mga anak, huwag kayong titigil sa pagmamahal sa inyong mga magulang. Kasi pag tumigil kayo, sasabihin na ng mga magulang ninyo, buti pa, mamatay na lang ako. ba diba, na? What is the reason to live? What is the reason to live? when you cannot find love in your own very home. You have to recognize what God has done and be grateful. If you're, if you're understanding it, I'm not teaching you how to pray. I'm teaching you why you should pray. Why you should pray. Sabi ng isa, how long should I spend time in prayer? It will depend on your interest. It will depend on your, in the degree of your love. ba? Diba? Pag in love ka, kahit hating gabi na. ba? Diba? Binibiro namin yung aming bunso. Manggagaling yung sa date. Isa lang ang babae namin kapatid. Magdi-date yun. Ano po? Magdi-date. Sabi namin, alas G, so ka na ha? Siyempre, mas matapang kami sa magulang. Alas G, so ka na. Oh, pag uwi noon, alas G, giba ang mukha noon. Diba? Bakit? Gusto ko mag-date eh. Diba ano? Ano gagawin noon? Kukunin ang telepono at mag-uusap sa telepono. Ha? Nang walang imikan. Oh! Oh! Naalala niyo, ano? Di ba? Tapos sabi ng party line, party line ba? <laughs> May party line pa noon, di po ba? Na? Di ba pag in love ka, walang imi ka? Gano'ng katagal? Wala. Nangingimi na yung tenga mo. Kasi, interesado ka. How long? It will depend on your interest. It will depend on your interest. Noong 1995, many of you knew this already, but it's good, it's worth repeating. In 1995, there was a papal visit. Alam nyo, ang Santo Papa, pag dumadating sa Pilipinas, birthday ko. Palaging birthday ko. Tumatama ng January 15. Ha? Nagkataon ba? Birthday ko na naman. Di ba, no? January 15. Ano sabi ko? Lord, ang gusto kong pa-birthday mo sa akin, mahalikan ko ang kamay ng Santo Papa. Ganun ka simple. Allow me to kiss the hand of the Holy Father, John Paul II. Na-excited ka. Bakit hindi ako excited? Ako ang executive secretary ng President ng Federations 
of Asian Bishops Conferences. Ako ang katabi. Ako po ninyo. Pag tumabi sa Santo Papa yun, pag tabi ko, napakadali nung, di ba? Katabi ka na eh. Kaya ko. Kaya ko ito. Kaya ko yan. Ini-imagine ko na, ini-imagine ko na kung paano ko gagawin. Di ba? Alam ko na. Kaya lang, noong January 14, sabi ng sabi ng yumang Oscar Cruz, Archbishop Oscar, Dave, I know it was your, it will be your birthday tomorrow. Hindi ako naman nakangiti, di ba? Baka sabi na, yeah, I will give you a chance to see na ulit. Tuwan-tuwa ako. Bigla siya sabi niya, you cannot go to Luneta. Because I want you to prepare the materials for the bishop. Oh, talaga ko. Galit na galit ako. Sabi ko, Lord, simple lang naman ang hinihihi. Hindi mo naman ikahihihirap yan. Kung ano-ano mga sinabi mo, di ba? No? Ganyan talaga. Oh, alam ng mga kasama ko si Minerista na hindi ako pupunta sa Luneta. Pagkatapos ng dinner, alas otso ng gabi, nasa oratory ako. Wala akong sinabi ko, hindi, Lord, bakit? Napakadali para sa'yo, bakit? Ha? Grabe. Alas otso ng gabi, hanggang alas kwatro na madaling araw. Gising ako. Hindi ako inantok. Wala akong sinabi. Napakaya, bakit? Yun lang sinabi ko. Kayang-kaya mo. Ah, grabe. Nag, may... Yung mga kaklasik, yung mga walang hiya. Sorry. Na pa. Pari na sila ngayon. Na pa. Sumilip sa oratory, sabi, bye-bye. Wish it. Galit na galit ako. O di, nung sila'y nasa luneta, hinanda ko lahat yung material. Sana po. Ni hindi ko kayang panoorin sa TV yung misa sa luneta. Bakit? Galit na galit ako eh. Birthday na birthday ko. Basag trip, di ba no? Tapos, di meet, pagkatapos ng misa sa Luneta, meeting na sa auditorium na San Carlos. Oh, galit ako, galit. Nandun ako. Oh, di, bahala kayo sa buhay niyo. Ah, nabigay ko na lahat ng gamit. Oh. Nakaupo kang ganyan. Tagal magsimula ng meeting. Tagal, ano ba naman ito? Tagal. Gusto ko na matulog, nagtagal. Kasi puyat ka eh, di ba? No? Oh, tagal. Lo and behold, kaya pala hindi makapagsimula, inaantay pala sa Santo Papa. Alas dos ang meeting, pagdating alas tres, biglang lumabas ang Santo Papa sa stage. Ay, dito lala. Sabi kayo nung ginagawa niya dito. Dito lala. Nagbasa lang na kanyang message. Less than three minutes. Tapos, palakpakan naman ako, bispo. Palakpakan. Tapos, sabi ng aking amo, Your, Your Holy Father, the bishops want to have pictures with you. Wala. Oh, pictures na lang lahat. Ako sabi ko, Oh, Lord. Okay na ako. Kahit dito lang ako nakatingin. Okay na ako. Nung matapos lahat ng mga obispo, sabi ng buting archbishop, nako bakit wala akong script dapat may script eh bonjourno mayroon kang pag ganong ganon di ba nako nawala lahat nakalimutan ko habang naglalakad akong ganyan ay nako ano sasabihin ko ano sasabihin ko ano? tapos inintroduce ako ni Archbishop this is my secretary oh, grabe And it is his birthday today. Ay di nung hawak ko yung kamay ng Santo Papa, pahalikan ko. Hindi niya binitawan. Dinig na dinig ko, sabi ni Lord, ano yung sinasabi mo kagabi? <laughs> di ba dami mo sinasabi? God has a way of humbling us. Ano naman, no? Sana tinulong po na lang, no? Sipin mo, alas 9, alas 10, alas 11, alas 12, alas 1, alas 12. Grabe. 
ocho oras na wala kang sinabi. Why? Simula na, natuto na ako. Natuto na ako. Kaya nung 2015, nako, ako na naman. May trabaho na naman ako. Ay, hindi na ako nag-isip kung paano ako, paano babati na Santo Papa. Magpapaparty yan. Tatawagin kami lahat. May picture ako. Di ba? Ay! My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, as Teresa of Avila said, don't limit God by your own limitations. You only need to recognize God and what God has done for you. Be grateful so that when you receive the Eucharist, the Eucharist is the summit and the apex of our Christian life. When you celebrate, you participate in the Eucharist, it is the highest form of prayer. Especially when you receive the body of Christ. What do you receive? The body of Christ. Baliwanag ba yun? You receive the body of Christ. Sigurado kayo? You receive the body of Christ. So, ang pinakamahalaga ay ang katawan ni Kristo. Tama po? O, eh, bakit? Bakit pagdating ng communion, namimili kayo kung sino kanino kayo pipila? Kung mahalaga si Kristo, bakit namimili ka kung kanino pipila? Di ba, no? Nandun ako sa likod, eh. Oh, dami na ka dito. Lilipat pa doon. Parang mga yun. Di ba? Ang mahalagay si Kristo, na intindihan mo, kaya lang, nawala ang iyong interes. And Teresa of Avila said, if you pray, listen, if you pray, If you serve, if you participate in the Eucharist just to feel good, you are not praying for the love of God. Listen. If you serve to feel good, if you attend the prayer meeting to feel good, if you go to Mass to feel good, nakawa po ninyo, just to feel good, then you are not doing it out of love for God but you are doing it out your out of love for yourself hello yung pag sinabi mo ay ang sarap mag-serve may mali doon kasi hindi masarap mag-serve nakuha po ninyo ay, ang sarap magbigay. May mali doon. Kasi hindi masarap magbigay. Ay, ang sarap magsimba. May mali doon. Kasi hindi masarap magsimba. ba? Diba? Kaya ka nga namimili ng pari. Kasi gusto mong i-satisfy yung sarili mo desire. Kaya nagiinit ang telepono ng green belt. Sino po magmimisa? Kasi gusto mo yung pare. Anong oras po magmimisa si Father Day? Wala po siya ngayon. Bakit wala? Kailangan mangutuhiran ang chapel kung bakit wala. Di ba? Naintindihan po ninyo ako? If you serve your mother because you feel good, there is something wrong. If you contribute to the expenses of your home because it feels good, there is something wrong. Ano sabi ni Pope Francis? I distrust charity that doesn't hurt. I distrust charity that doesn't Her. 
kaya, pag ikaw ay nagdadasal just to feel good, then you are not really praying. You simply come to satisfy your desire. Bakit doon ka umatid na prayer meeting? Ay, kasi ang ganda ng music doon. Ay, kasi ganyan. Ang galing na speaker. Ay, hindi si Jesus ang hinanap mo. Hindi si Jesus. Oh, may nabulong. Di ba? Naintindihan po ninyo ako? To pray is to develop a relationship with God. Alas ocho na. Be attentive. Prayer can only be understood by those who pray like love can only be understood by those who love. Because it is not about what we do. Prayer is all about our relationship with God. Kaya nga, pag ikaw ay magpapari, ang daming iba't ibang kongregasyon. Kasi meron silang kanya-kanyang spirituality. Hindi pare-parehas. Hindi pare-parehas. Di ba? Pag nagsimba ka sa Don Bosco, pagkatapos ng misa, ano sinasabi? Sa Don Bosco? Ano? Ano? Hindi, ah, masaya. Di ba? Sa Don Bosco, masaya. O talagang, oh, grabe dito. Sa Green Bell, mas masaya. Di ba? Pero saya lang bang hinahanap mo? Hindi. 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 Sapagat ang tunay na nagmamahal, kahit sa hirap, nagtsatsaga. Di ba, anak? Ang tunay na nagmamahal, kahit sa hirap, nagtsatsaga. A good friend whose wife is dying of cancer, inabot ko siya, nililinis niya yung pwit ng kanyang misis. Nagpupo. So lumabas ako kasi nililinisan yung pwit ng misis niya. Tapos, pagkatapos, balik ako. Hindi, hindi na ako nagtanong. Sinabi na niya, alam mo pa, Father, kung bakit ako naglilinis ng pwet ng misis ko, pwede ka mo ipagawa sa mga nurse para alam ng misis ko na mahal na mahal ko siya. Di ba? Sino kaya mga mister dito? Di ba? Mag- of course, kilala ko silang parehas. Ano po? Tapos sabi ng, sabi ng misis niya, Robert, pag namatay ba ako, mag-aasawa ka pa uli? Ha? Ano sagot ni Robert? Wala ka ng pakilam doon. <laughs> Yun ang mag-asawa, no? Di ba? In closing, keep this in mind, as I always say this, that in the twilight of your life, when you bend your knees before God, God will never ask the question, where have you been? What titles you have gained? How much money you have? The only question that God will ask you is, how much love you have given? So prayer without love is nothing. Prayer without love, regardless how long, is nothing. Whatever you give without love is nothing. So, when you talk about prayer, begin with the right reason. It is because I love God and I know God loves me. You have to be attentive to be interested. Diba? So that you can listen. 
sa Tagalog, mas maganda yun. Sa takip silim ng iyong buhay, sa pagluhod mo sa harapan ng Diyos, hindi itatanong ng Diyos saan ka nakarating, magkano ang iyong naipon, ano ang iyong naabot, kundi gano kalaking pag-ibig ang iyong pinagkaloob. When you bend your knees before God, sa iyong pagluhod, mga kapatid, ano sabi nila? Sometimes you don't have a shoulder to lean on, but you can always have a floor to kneel. You can you cannot have you cannot have a shoulder to lean on. Minsan pag-iyak ka, wala ka talagang masasandalan. Pero ano sabi ng mga santo? Pero palagi kang may sahig na maluluhuran na maluluhuran. Pray. Pray because we are called to be holy. Pray because it is what God wants us to do. Hindi pangangailangan ng Diyos yan. Alam ng Diyos ang ating pangangailangan. So, Nakaupo ka dyan. Anong ginagawa mo yun? Nagdata siya. Hindi pa. No? Ba't wala ka sinasabi? Nakikinig ka ko eh. Di ba? Because prayer is not a self-centered monologue, but a God-centered dialogue. Anong sinasabi ng Diyos? Di ba? Isipin nyo, walong oras akong dumaldal ang sasabihin lang pala ng Diyos, may sinasabi ka. Lord naman. Di ba, no? Alam ng Diyos, kailangan ko ng 26,000. Sinagot na ang Diyos na 25 cents. Di ba? Alam ko, 320,000 ang isang stem. May discount. May discount. Pero hindi yan ang magandang kwento. Ano magandang kwento? Nakatayo ako dito. Because many of you have prayed for me. I don't have the heart to thank everyone. But if you talk about prayer, look at me. I am the answer to your prayer. Take the courage to pray for yourself. Learn to imagine the unimaginable for God to do the impossible. As I always say this, we rather ask and not receive than fail to receive because we do not ask. Hingi lang ng hingi. Di ba? I want to kiss the hand of the Holy Father. Pero siyempre, kita mo may opportunity. Mahirap yung ngayon, Lord, I want to kiss the hands of the Holy Father. Sasabihin sa'yo ng, sasabihin sa'yo ng Diyos, go to Rome. Diba? Ready na yung pansit. Paglabas, ano pa? Salamat sa nag-donate ng pansit, ano pa? Bumili na rin ako ng tubig para panulak sa pansit. Let us pray. Ama naming mapagmahal, salamat po sa tatlong gabi na pagninilay. Salamat po kay Monsignor Jerry Santos, kay Father Dennis Paez. Salamat po sa gabing ito. Salamat po sa iyong pagmamahal sa gitna ng aming pagkukulang. Salamat po sa pagtawag mo sa akin, sa aming lahat. Tinipon mo kami, dala ng iyong pagmamahal. Kilala mo po ang bawat isa, Panginoon. Alam mo po ang kalilang mga pinagdaanan at pinagdadaanan ngayon sa buhay. Alam mo ang kalilang mga pagtawa at pagluha, kahinaan at kalakasan, kabiguan at kagumpay. Alam mo rin ang kalilang mga pangarap. Pangarap hindi lang para sa kailang mga sarili, kundi para sa kailang mga mahalis sa buhay. 
mga magulang na naniniklohod para sa kanilang mga anak. Mga asawang naniniklohod para sa kanilang kabiyak. Mga anak na naniniklohod sa mga magulang nilang may sakit, tumatanda. Alam mo lahat ito, Panginoon. At idinudulog ko po ang bawat isa sa kanila. Ipuin mo po na wapay patuloy mo silang ingatan. Ilayo mo sila sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan. Patuloy mo silang pagkaluban ng kalakasan, kalusugan, at kung sino man sa kanilang may karamdaman. Kahit kanser, Panginoon, pagkaluban mo na kagalingan. Sa makapangyari ang pangalan ng iyong anak na si Jesus na taga Nazaret, pagalingin mo itong iyong anak na may kanser. Alisin mo kanya mga pagkatakot at pangamba. Dagdagan mo po ang kanyang pananalig at pananampalataya sa iyo. Idinudulog ko po lahat ng mag-asawa, lalong-lalo na mga nagdiriwang ng anibersaryo na kalang pag-isang dibdib. Naway patuloy mo silang pagbuklorin. Alisin mo ang dahilan na kalang hinwaan. Kung meron mang sama ng loob, pagkagalit, pagtatampo, paghihinala, dala ng pagkukulang o pagkakamali ng sino man. Naway merong pagpapatawad, merong paghingi ng tawad, may pagtalikod sa pagkakamali, may kababaang loob at panibagong pagmamahal. Idinudul ko rin, Panginoon, lahat na nagdiriwang na kanilang kaarawan. Kilala mo sila. Ikaw ang nagbigay ng buhay. Ikaw ang nagtaguyod. Panginoon, nawa po'y maging kalugod-lugod sa iyong kanilang mga panalangin. Nawa po kung ano man ang makabubuti, makababanal, makasasaya, makauunlan na kanilang mga buhay, kayo na po ang magbigay. Salamat po sa pagkakataong kami ay makapagdasal. Ang bawat isa ay may kanya-kanyang mga pagdulog, kayo na po ang magkaloob. Ang bawat pamilya sa manaroon ay pagharian mo ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. Panginoon, nananalig kami sa iyong pagmamahal. Kaya po sa tulong at panalain mga banal, lalong-lalo po ng mahal na birhen, ganyan din sa Nosen, tapat niyang isposo at aming patron, Padre Pio ng Petrochina. Pagpalain mo po ang bawat isa, kasama ang kailang pamilya, sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Let us bless the pancit. Bless us, O Lord, in this life. We are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ. Amen. Amen. Kung yan lang ang panalangin na maalala mo sa sino mang may sakit, diringgin pa rin ang Diyos dala na ngayong pagmamahal. Ingat po sa pag-uwi. Can we sing one song? Can we? You can you can you can bring the pancit home. You don't have to eat it here. Ano ba? Salamat po muli sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat. Oh